Geminis, hello and welcome to your October 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, you're watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymealcoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymealcoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Geminis, what we will do here, we will look at your overall energy or, or the overall energy for the months of October for your sign before we then look into your emotional core, right? So what's happening on your emotional front before we then lastly move into opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of October 2022. And little Molly here is giving us all her support, aren't you? Yeah. So, Gemini, you are asked to focus, right? So whatever it is, that you think should be happening this month. Focus. Also focus on why are things stale, right? Or is there someone plotting something behind your back? It feels to me that if you're not paying attention, um, <coughs> situations can gang up on you. And it sounds probably much harsher than I feel it, but the guides are clearly uh, showing me here. <coughs> That you have to focus on what you want and to pay attention to the people around you because not all of them might be your tribe. Okay? Speaking of a tribe, in the origin story of the shamanic tribes, we come from the stars from a place called the Pleiades. And the, go the moon has always governed our emotions. Now, what's happening mid months? Between the 12th and the 14th of October 2022, the moon sits right underneath the Pleiades, which means emotionally you will feel much more connected mid months and you feel much more empowered mid months because you're going home. <coughs> if that makes sense. So there will be a boost, energetically speaking, for you mid months, but you shouldn't wait until mid months before you then do anything with it. So that's really important. Okay? And now let's look at your emotional core, see what's happening. Your emotional core, Gemini's, uh, feels pushy. <laughs> the, the message is freedom. Freedom, I won't let you know. Freedom, okay? What I'm getting is, is to stop explaining yourself, is to stop talking about the same stuff over and over again that hasn't shifted yet, that isn't changing. And I'm getting this... <clears throat> more about relationships that are happening rather than um, at this point in time <clears throat> and this is a general reading it might not resonate with all of you but what i'm getting gemini is this is about understanding that in your relationship your intimate relationships you need to have the freedom to do as you please right really really important you need some some me time you need some space and when you are with with, with with a partner that chose you and you chose her or him right that shouldn't be too much to ask or too too difficult to achieve so what is needed here gemini is for you to speak up the difficulty that you have that you have that you have as a sign is because you are the sign of the twin and um, one part of your imprint is that sometimes you're missing this inner voice that pats you on the back. So sometimes you stay in relationships longer than, than you should, you know, because somehow this is your comfort zone as well, having someone else there who can support you. But what if there's no support, right? So freedom really looks into, um, pay attention to how free are you inside the relationship that you agreed to. Really, really important, okay? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And now, lastly, we are looking at um, opportunities as they present themselves to you <laughs> in the month of October, and they're not good. Okay, Gemini, you have healing chaos, right? Healing chaos. What the guides are saying, right? New opportunities don't mean much. You would probably would go into a new situation feeling exactly the same you feel now, having not really dealt with all the crap 
that needs to be dealt with. You have healing chaos, which means while you're going through your own healing, you are all over the place. So therefore, opportunities find it difficult to find you. This is not the month, therefore, Gemini, to look for new beginnings as such. This is the month for self-reflection and to say like, okay, I should probably invest in myself and make sure um, make sure that, that you feel okay with everything that you have. And when you start reflecting honestly, you will then know what isn't working so you can then start making changes, right? So opportunities will not really work for you this month. And remember, if new opportunities come your way and you do engage with them, be honest to yourself, right? You will very likely be in a new situation with all the trauma that you still carry with you intact. Is that really worth your time? Is that the life you wish to live? October, therefore, for Gemini, is really, really important to reflect on who you are, deal with the, with the pain you have, right? And learn to let it go. And if you can't do that, right? Wherever you are locally, there's ancient modalities that have been done on people thousands of years uh, before we even knew that the Western medicine existed. So what I mean by this is, Right, if you're really not well, right, uh, go for a chakra alignment. If you feel this is so deep and I don't know what to do, right, go for color therapy, right. Um, if you feel you're not really functioning well because you've been through so much, go for a soul retrieval. But look at what's out there in your area and invest in yourself. But don't just sit there and feel shit not working, okay? So. That's all we got time for. See you all next month. Bye-bye.